again a 499 super chat from darth bane it's obvious what will happen in the cody solo cage match especially since it opens the show tonight ladies and gentlemen i'm hearing whispers i'm not reporting this i'm hearing whispers that tonight's episode of smackdown is going to be electrifying that's right i'm hearing whispers that potentially the rock could be showing up on tonight's episode of smackdown and honestly it makes so much sense honestly it makes so much sense it should happen i don't give a what anybody says but let me just be so real with you guys let me be so real with you guys the rock on wwe draws ratings the rock on wwe is truly good programming and wwe is trying to push the story between the two versions of the bloodline of course if roman reigns is going to be there tonight i think it is very very obvious that the rock showing up could be a big deal because they want to plant seeds especially because in november we have survivor series now i don't know if the rock is showing up i can't sit here and say for sure that the rock is showing up but something very interesting has happened not only am i hearing whispers triple h made the announcement that the cage match does open up the night tko retweets it with the eye emoji they are teasing something they are teasing something massive now what's interesting if we take a look at the chat one of the members part of the angle club we got phil and he says could hikaleo be showing up soon this is a good question it's a great question we know that he's been signed with the wwe we know that he's joining the wwe we know that this company has a lot of layers to the bloodline storyline and every single week they just keep pushing it further and further because what they are doing is buying time now why would the wwe be buying time well let's call it what it is first what we need to address is the bloodline 2.0 solo sokoa is the new tribal chief but the wwe has not told us who is responsible for this group so here's what you guys need to understand when it comes to wwe smackdown tonight if the rock shows up it is very clear that the rock is the one who is holding this group together as a way to combat roman reigns and throughout time we're going to need to see wwe tell us a couple stories how could roman get the usos back together Keep in mind, Jimmy Uso is reportedly cleared, but they haven't brought him back yet. Hikaleo has reportedly been signed to the company, but hasn't debuted yet. And we don't know if WWE wants to have The Rock versus Roman this, you know, in 2025, or do they want to do it in 2026? Because the rumor is that WrestleMania in 2026 could be in London. And if they bring WrestleMania to the UK, do you, do you do Rock versus Cody in Las Vegas? Because that's a possibility too. But if they do that instead of Rock versus Roman in Las Vegas, then we're going to have to hold off on some of these moments, some of these storylines that are going to be told. Because if they are going to push the story back another year, it could make a lot of sense. Now, here's the thing with the cage match opening up SmackDown, I think it is very obvious that WWE, I think it is extremely obvious if you're the WWE, you gotta have some sort of wonky finish. This is the season premiere, it's the return to USA Network. There's no more Fox. Dude, I'm thinking there's a good chance that SmackDown could not only have The Rock, but we might get Jimmy Uso, we might get Paul Heyman, we might get Roman Reigns, we might get Hikaleo. I could see them doing a variety of things on tonight's episode. But I do believe that the show will open up with the bloodline and it will end with the bloodline. And I think USA Network, they're paying a lot of money for SmackDown. And the best way to kick it off is by having something absolutely massive happen.
And guys, I like Hikaleo. I like Paul Heyman. I like Jimmy Uso. But that isn't massive. That isn't massive. But The Rock returning tonight is massive. And The Rock doesn't really have to do much. He doesn't have to get physical. All it takes is for The Rock and the bloodline to take out Cody and whoever's there for him and throw up the ones in the sky. You know, WWE has intentionally kept Jacob Fatu away from Roman Reigns. If Roman Reigns is there tonight and Jacob Fatu is there, I could see the visual of SmackDown ending with the new bloodline laying over Roman Reigns with the ones in the sky. The Rock wearing his crazy ass expensive Versace vest. Tell me that's not money. Tell me that visual will not make you want to tune in next week. It would for sure make you want to tune in next week. You know, the thing is, all WWE is doing is moving the show from one channel to another, but it seems like WWE is incredibly hyped about SmackDown tonight. I genuinely believe they have a plan here. And if the whispers I'm hearing are true, if The Rock is really showing up, how can you not get excited for next week? Just last week, they already planted the seed that Jacob Fatu and Solo Sokoa don't really see eye to eye. It was subtle, but it was there. And so therefore, it gets me a little bit more excited because there's so many layers to the storyline. And the best part is, the best part about this is, if WWE does want to extend the story another year, they can do it. We saw what happened with the Bloodline 1.0. It was extended for four years. It was a dramatic, dramatic, dramatic extension. And I do want to see WWE get to the point where that amount of layers and storylines are applied everywhere. Phil says, what about the rumor of Roman and Cody teaming against Jacob and Solo? Is that a possibility or are we truly getting bloodline versus bloodline war games? I think we get bloodline versus bloodline war games. But if they're extending it another year where Rock versus Roman doesn't happen until WrestleMania in London 2026, then bloodline versus bloodline might happen next year. But how do we not get excited about the idea of Cody and Roman tag teaming? By the way, last time we saw Roman and Cody, we saw exactly how that unfolded. Babyface Roman is here, but at the same time, too, he still wants his title back. More layers to the story, ladies and gentlemen. SmackDown on USA Network. Surely going to be a big episode. 1,000%.